Yo, that is a losing shit. I just said, who the f is getting in there? This is it. Fuck them bro. Let's lose. I know. And he wanna keep hitting the horn. What? Let he wanna let people know. know. Yeah, let's keep coming to it. Big and dope. Yeah, big love. Big love. Yeah. Keep doing your thing, brother. You guys are killing it. I love what y'all doing. Keep going, man. Keep going. No, man. Yo, stop this shit, man. Scared. Yeah, he's scared, motherfucker, man. Yeah, man. What the fuck is he doing? Old ass limousine, man. He was some boy. I told him he gotta come and pop his shit. Look at him. Go. Jury, or jury. Come here, baby girl. Come here. I can look up for y'all all day. I can look up for y'all all day. I can look it. 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 Oh, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you, I love them, I love them, I love them. <laughs> I guess I won already. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, you this shit with this Was that not a foul? Yeah. Was that a foul? Who are you telling me you gonna punch him? Hey, 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 hey. You not no regular hey, A regular nigga is like, what's up? Thank you. Come on, man. Who we gonna go there with you? I'm nervous, Gilly. I'm nervous, Gilly. What's up, man? <laughs> Gilly, you know hey. Hey, hey, Gilly. You know when you about to fight in there, right? Yeah. And you ain't got all your homies with you, right? Right. So you fighting in there, and you got these like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get him, get him. You got my like, yes, you nigga. That's how I'm playing basketball. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I feel like I'm, I'm playing two oh. This man like this, yeah, get him, get him. Yeah, get off the court. <laughs> he got a full court. Yo, no, no, no. Huh? Put him in half. Put him in half. I can decide. Where is this? I'm on the Why is he on me? Tell me to get off the court. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He ain't left the court, bro. Yo. This is the spot. Get him. Get him. Man, get off the court. It's me and this man playing one on one. Man, what y'all doing? Y'all finishing No, I got uh, other kids. Yeah, 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 let's play some pool. Oh, you got to do it. You ain't be picking all the hoes. I don't even got no sticks. I'm playing, though. I'm going to that one on one, y'all. This episode is brought to you by Supercuts. Want a free haircut after this year's big game? If the big game final score meets or beats 75 points, you could win a free haircut at Supercuts. Why 75? Because Supercuts has been cutting America's hair since 1975. That's, that's something to think about. I was born in 76, so they was cutting hair one year before I was born. That's a long time to be in business. So shout out to Supercuts for that. And 75 is just happens to be the highest ever score of the big game. And that was the Eagles in the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, I believe, right? So if they score over 75 points in this year's game, Supercuts is giving away free cuts. So we need some points on the board because there's a bunch of people out here that need to get lined up, shaped up, trimmed, slim, all on the side, tied and dyed. So... Let's score some points. So if you're looking to, if you're looking for an over on a Supercuts high score of 75 points for the chance to catch a free cut at Supercuts Salons nationwide, head to supercutshighscore.com to register, read the terms and conditions, and for eligibility. I'm 
Mango is clinically proven to help you get and stay rock hard. Our fastest acting ED formula contains the same active ingredients as Viagra or Cialis in a rapid dissolved tablet for optimized bedroom performance and takes effect in only 10 minutes, not an hour like other treatments. So other stuff, you pop it, oh, you're sitting around, do 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 Man, little man still going, huh, huh, huh. And then after an hour, he go, ah. No. In 10 minutes, you're like this. Superman! Dun, dun, dun. So get a free online consultation. And if, if you're prescribed, Mango will ship discreetly right to you. So it's no awkward doctor visits or none of that. It's affordable, and it gets you more bang for your buck. So man up right now and visit MangoRx.com to start performing, to giving your best performance in the bedroom. You hear me? If you're not working her out, you're not performing. Man up. Visit MangoRx.com right now. Right. Ones and twos to 15. Every possession, you got to take it back on the defense. So if I air ball, he still got to take it back. If he missed the ball and I tip it, I still got to take it back. It's to 12. Yeah, bud. Old school. You got a hand on that, bud. No. No, never. No, he blocked the ball. Never. Never did. Come on, bud. We're going to cheat, man. Never did. I don't want to beat you that bad, bud. I don't want to beat you that bad. We got it on camera. We ain't going to do that. He going to cheat. We ain't going to do that. You know we can see you block the ball. <laughs> Boy, oh, man. The light. <laughs> if you gonna cheat, uh, I don't know. I didn't block the ball, man. Yes, you did. I didn't block the ball. You might have seen that video. You shoot shooting. I didn't see it. You know what you're doing, Gary? You blocked the ball, man. Hey, right, two. I just made it seem like I couldn't shoot. Cause I blocked the ball. Hey, two. You cheat. Come on, bro. You 
knocked the ball, I didn't get it. I didn't just touch it. I shot the ball, but you know my ball went like this. He got a perfect view. He wanted, he wanted too bad. Hey, yeah. that's crazy. He wanted too bad. Hey, yeah. hey, that's the nonchalant when you know you can't win. Uh, you he see it. He's submitting already. Because you just called a foul one of the Ten two. Ten two, he's submitting already. You called a foul one of the foul. I'm gonna call no more fouls, Come on. Ten two. Try to act like you didn't, you hear me? <laughs> Why you think I ran after the ball? <laughs> I'm tired of shit. It's on camera, man. Come on. Huh. Huh. Shit, man. I'm tired. That last game cooked me. Well, you know, I'll come back. Shit ain't about that. <laughs> Shit ain't about that. I just want y'all. I just want y'all to get the shit because this is personal care. Bro, you fouling me, bro. Bro, you just hacked the shit out of me. I'm not gonna call no foul no more. Tell us you gonna foul me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! That was a foul? That was a foul. Where at? Please tell me. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hear your opinion. Where did, hold up, where did I foul him at? From the jump, soon as I went around, you grabbed me. Gilly, this don't even know what the f he was gonna say. He just, <laughs> he just following suit. You're grabbing me, dog. You're grabbing me. You're grabbing me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, really? That's on you, right? Yeah. Oh, I specialize in this shit. Hold on. Damn, why are you working on this shit? Double foul, bro? Damn. Hey. Oh, I don't know there wasn't no foul. <laughs> I thought it was a fact. He tripped. He cheated. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. 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 Oh.
Charlie Mack. <laughs> See, he shoot all over jump shots. That's all he good for. That's all he good for. I got four. What do you All he good for is over jump shot. That's all he hit. That's telling me about this shoe on Instagram. It is Instagram. Right here. Oh, shit. You're going to have a hot sauce, Bailey. I'm going to win. Not too tired. 13 votes. Does he end up as one and one? I won. I won. I'm one and one. No, one on one. You lost him, bro. I didn't lose one on one. So it took all my energy. I had to make up for him <laughs> last game. It took all my fucking energy. <laughs> you need to play little man. So, okay. so the day we ended up so winning, you're not gonna play. It ain't. He's on the five. Hey, you I didn't hey, hold on. I didn't hold on. I want to know what that you mean. Hey, bud. Who? Yeah. Winfrey. You ain't got no chance. Hey, Oprah Winfrey. You ain't got no chance. I want to win against your man's. Oprah Winfrey. I want to know. Hey, you ain't talk got no to chance. him. Yeah. Ask him what they want. You ain't got no chance. Talk to him, Bill. Yeah, talk to him. Talk Oprah to him. Hey, you only good as your last win, though. You only good as your last win. Cool. You leave it. This episode is brought to you by Body Armor. Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Body Armor. Real hydration, real ingredients, packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor has a great tasting sports drink flavors like strawberry, banana, and blue raspberry. Not only do we hydrate with Body Armor, but some of the best athletes in the world do as well. Like Christian McCaffrey, y'all. Oh, Christian be real. That's a bad dude right there, Christian. I ain't going to lie. You a bad dude. A touchdown, Joe Burrow. Another bad dude. Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, a bad dude. Uh, C.D. Lamb, <sighs> much as it hurts me to say, because he plays for the Cowboys and I'm an Eagles fan, he's a bad dude. And Bryce Young, my young, and of course y'all see me playing basketball with Bryce. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you get you some body armor. It is available in stores nationwide, but you can head over to Body Armor Store on Amazon and get you yours ASAP. I really love the Body Armor Water. For you can see when I be on my live streams and all that, that's what I'm tapped into, the Body Armor Water. I love it. Body Armor, make sure you get you some. And it's just like that. What y'all want to do best? I ain't got to waste no energy to shoot. What you you said all I shoot is open shots. Let's go. Let's go. Do, do, do your thing. Come on. You shoot 10. Go ahead. From wherever you want to. Go ahead. Here, I'll shoot both of them. Oh, you first. No, 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 no. I'm checking. I'll shoot your ass. You first. If we shoot NBA threes, or we shoot college threes. If we shoot, if we shoot NBA threes, start over here. Sir. How many? Sir. How many? You said 10. Oh, one shot each? Oh, that's what you want? One shot each? No way you can shoot better than me. I'm NBA range with you. They call me Damian Gillis for a reason. I don't play no games. They call me Damian Gillis for a reason. Hold on, uh, I don't play no games. Hold on. Uh, you doing the same thing I'm doing. 
Make sure you back up off that line, too. You hear me, champ? Make sure you back up off that line. Don't be shooting them college threes, champ. You hear me, champ? Don't be shooting them college threes, champ. You'll never be able to shoot better than me. You a boxer, nigga. I'm a fucking ball. <laughs> never. Oh. That's it. Hold on, I got it. Snap. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. 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 Two, two for three, bro. I one, missed two, one. Two, two, two for three. Two for three. <laughs> two for three. Bro. Three for four. Three for four. One, two, three, bro. He shot three shots so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else do you want to? They teach you shit. Oh. Come on. Can you shoot from right here? See, shoot. Go ahead. You a pop. You get your face like that. You right. You right. Okay, don't worry about it. Back up off the line, though. I ain't going to lie. Diego. Sniper! Yeah. Sniper! Oh, Don't worry about it, no, I didn't. He gonna miss these three. You can't talk to me. If he is a rap, he be LL No J. Oh! He be LL No J. If he is a rapper, he be LL No J. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Up game. It's already game. It's already game. I guess I won already. Huh? I guess I won already, huh? Good six or ten ass. <laughs> Go seven for ten ass. Six or ten ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to any dirt. Hey, you got me start laughing. I should have stopped laughing. I should have said it. I know. Uh, I should have started. That's it, nigga. L L no I know. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on this mother. I like my I like my pickings. I like, them, but they good. We don't want all this. Like you know, we put the, uh, the strawberries, the blueberries. This then he want the bullshit butter, the government butter that don't melt. We ain't doing that. I ain't gonna lie. Never just bobbing. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm the club to the hotel. Yeah. The boy, he didn't get done and she ran up 6000 on his credit card. Oh, Lord, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he talking about he got four kids at home, four babies at home. Mm -hmm. I said, dog, I don't condone lying, but you can't go home and tell the truth on this one. Yeah. Because you'll never get to unpack. Right. I said, she ain't putting up with that. Not at all. Especially then it's worse. Yeah. Cause you go home and tell your wife you got finessed out of six thousand. At least you had to get some ass, man. Yeah, I didn't get nothing. And now she like you, you a dummy. Yeah, I got robbed. And you stupid. Yeah, I, I, now I need your buddy. I need the right. rest of that buddy. <laughs> Cause you just giving it to stupid bitches for nothing. Yeah. Why the f I'm around here acting smart? <laughs> okay, yeah, these little crumb snatchers. <laughs> You run around here just give it away. <laughs> right. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. I tell him, take that car, flush it down the tunnel at the airport, get on the phone. Right. I'm watching this little crumb snatch and you giving away the cake, nigga. Yeah. I said, oh, dude. I said, you got to be out your damn mind. Mm hmm. Ain't no way. So don't you know they tell you all the shot ain't gold? Mm hmm. <laughs> Some of that shit be bronze. Uh, some of that copper. Copper. Damn <laughs> you. Uh, you see who's here? You see who just walked in? Huh? Huh? The greatest of all time. The greatest of all time. The greatest of all time. Oh, yeah. Now listen, 
let me put my hat on so I can show you. Now, a lot of y'all don't know what's going on. What happened was, when she, you know, I used to train her. I went to one of her training camps. Man, what, listen, go again. I went to, listen, I went to one of her training camps. I taught her one of my classic moves. I trained her, I trained Tank, I trained Bud, I trained Earl, I taught all the moves. You show Earl some. Earl, but Tank, uh, Shakur, he did. Big he Baby. He didn't name all the boxers he could think Boots. of right now. No, I, I actually he showed, showed him a move. You never showed her them. No, oh yeah, I ain't shit. I can't put my trainer. But once you show, listen, once you show a fighter a move, that's officially your trainer. You're a part of their camp. All right. So show it, show it, show it something. Yeah, so, so, so this from this, this is class move. This from prison, cause you, that's, that's, that's what you do. Whatever you do, like please don't hit me. My chin is not. I'm not gonna. Your hands are so okay. so. So this is a classic move. Right. Now when you come, then when you throw the jab, wham! You see that? <laughs> you, you peep that move. You don't even look. I ain't gotta be looking. I'm looking from here. Throw the jab again. Wham! <laughs> wham! Wham! See? See? You see that? <laughs> You see that? That's that's some shit. I learned that in jail. Now, what I'm saying is this. I'm an old school fighter. Sugar Ray Robinson, stuff that's, like that. That's the best fighter in the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So you, 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 just, you ain't, you ain't, she don't know beef ribs. I can't hit her with the beef ribs, because that's the joint where it's like. But you got to show it to her. Hold up. I, I forgot it. Hold up. How do I use it? Because I ain't been, I, like a, a body shot, don't you? No, yeah. beef ribs is like you throw the jab, right? And it's a weird move. Now, what's my man name that Floyd said was the craziest dude that he fought? The drunken master? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you throw that joint, right? BAM! Ah! That's beef ribs. <laughs> Put the barbecue sauce on it. And then the barbecue sauce is when I just, I just keep going, you know what I mean? But sometimes the barbecue sauce, that's when I get in the street fighter mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I might start kneeing and kicking it, so I can't put the sauce on it. But it's just like, when you out here, you're doing your thing, it's just... No. No, thank you. See, she ain't gonna let you get away no. with that shit. Terrence and all of them, they be laughing, no. they be joking. You, so you mean to tell me if you throw that, throw that, throw that jack, and I come around here, that ain't a good, that ain't a good joke. Cause listen, when you a real box, I'm looking from here. I'm, I got what? all this. Is you, is you sci-fi orthodox? I'm both. It depends on how I feel. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, no, see? Listen, listen, see, see, listen, listen, listen. I'm stop. Listen, now this is this is a real fighter. See, when she asked me that question, you laugh because you're not a real fighter. When somebody. Jump on your ass, you would ever to get you out of the situation. <laughs> so if, if a motherfucker come, I'm from here. Huh? I switch it up. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to get out of there. He like the drunken master. He He's gonna switch and all that. See, and... see, see, she's got. Okay, that. okay, I, I'm following because, you. So because, you both. Because I gotta be both. Because the danger strikes, I gotta be on my game. Right. See, I'm really a man, martial artist. <laughs> so a lot of this boxing stuff really don't. You know what I mean? And my my style like her, she don't duck nobody. You know Nobody. See, but but see, we living in the world. Like, cause listen, you gotta understand this. I be arguing with him all the time, cause I'm trying to find, figure out. I'm one of them stat dudes. I'm the dude, Clarissa, that's gonna do this. Fuck all that Instagram shit. Fuck all that. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right into online, and I'm gonna say, hold up. This dude record is that, and his record is that. Hold up, cause and I'm gonna have it on paper. I bring it to him in the notes. Yeah. Look at this shit. That shit don't mean. This. Why he ain't fight him? Why he ain't fight him? Yeah. Them two is. Why he tagging his record? Something yeah. ain't. Something ain't right. Yeah. Oh shit! This is why. The, oh, if you. Oh, blacks don't be fighting blacks, and it's a lot of weird shit. I'm like, oh, this what's going. So this is like, how do you deal with it as a woman? You look, you in the game, and you like, I don't duck nobody. I just go to wherever the best at, whatever weight class I can make, and I go there and I beat them. That's it. She said, whatever well, weight class you, you just be going to different. That's that's wild. I, I was undisputed at 54. Tell I've been undisputed twice at 60. I had three belts at 168. Wherever they were. And then when I left 154, because I beat all the girls there, all the girls from 135 up came to 154. And now all the girls at 135 came to 154. None of them want to fight me talking about some, you're too big of a 154. Like, what the hell are y'all talking about? How she come up if she's too big? That's wild. They are saying that I'm too big. That's what I'm saying. You came up, but you too. But but this, this is just what I want to know. With all that being said, you you doing your thing. You put. Do you feel as though the women in sports is getting a fair hand? Well, women's boxing, women's equality is it, still women inequality right now. Yeah. Like I am fortunate enough where I can say like I've made a million dollars twice for a fight now. But when you talking about a million compared to you know. Adrian Brown can come out of retirement and make two, three, four, five million, and and then still lose the fight. 
And it's like, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to dominate. I'm going to win. And I got to keep going back and forth with the networks and everybody about how much I should be paid. When it's like, if y'all pay me a million this fight, next fight, you should definitely pay me 1.5. Two. Pay me two. Pay me three. So it's been trying to... That's where I'm at right now. But women's boxing never could. It's only a few of us that can say, oh, we made a million in boxing. I think that that's myself, Amanda Serrano, and Katie Taylor. I don't think the rest of the women... Uh, well, I know that the rest of the women can't say that they made a million dollars in boxing. Being so dominant and being, you know, you just you go. How do you, is it ever a moment and how do you deal with the thoughts in your head? Because, you know, we think. Is it ever the thoughts like it might be to a point that nobody, I ain't never going to be able to get a fight? Uh, nah. In my mind, I always feel like um, there's always somebody watching who on a lower scale, you know, who on an upper scale. <coughs> on the upcoming, you know, fighters. So I feel like they got tape and footage and everybody, look, everybody want the Rolex. Everybody want the chain. Everybody want yeah. the glam and the Instagram followers that come with beating yeah. the best. Yep. Yep. So there's always somebody watching. So I just let them build themselves up. And when somebody called me out, um, I'm just like, all right, cool. I just give them the opportunity and then I beat them, you know, but it's a huge build up. And that's just kind of what I do. But there's always somebody watching, though. There's never a like a. And then also, you know, I do MMA, too. So I'm always in a fight. I got an MMA fight in two weeks in Saudi Arabia. I'll be the first woman to fight in Saudi Arabia. Whoa. Yeah. But, 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 but they say over there, they're not playing anything. And that's an MMA fight. They don't be playing. MMA. And that's uh, February. 24th. 24th. Yeah. That's major, but, but this the whole so, twist. So how different is MMA from boxing? Because see, boxing, you know, boxing is from here up. Yeah. You feel me? I come on, I, I, I block this, I block that, I, 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 I catch shit. I could. MMA, I didn't see the motherfucker whip a motherfucker's ass, and all he did was kick that nigga in his cage. Well, hold up, you want her to answer that, or you want me to answer that? Uh, uh, no, I don't want you to bump ass. Because I got 13 belts. The, the, the black pink belts. belts in jail. We want all the prison pink belts. So, the, the difference, yeah. it ain't even the kicks. It's the difference in fighting up here to now you gotta fight down here. Mm. This is the difference. Yeah. Hold it for me, because that thing just came apart from me again. That's here. Mm. That's the thing. Here, this don't work. Yeah. This don't work here. Yeah. You gotta know how to get up. Yeah. And that's the problem. A lot of people, um, especially us botches, we don't know how to get up. Also, you can be you, you gotta fight the fight that's happening. Mm -hmm. So me and you boxing and I, and I'm gonna be getting a better hand. And you like, you know what? She tearing, she tearing my ass up. Where her hand? I'm finna take this bitch down to the ground. So Ooh. then they go, boop, boop, level change. Yeah. Now I'm going for your legs and I'm taking you down. You right? are. Right? Yeah. So now I'm on the ground. Or, well, that's the thing. At first, I didn't know how to sprawl, right? Ooh. I didn't know how to get away from a takedown. I couldn't recognize it. That's all I've been working on since October. Recognizing when they're going for a takedown, how to stop the takedown, how to fight off the cage, how to get up if I get taken down. What do you do when they full mount you? That's when they got mm -hmm. they legs, legs and everything, and everything, everything on top of you, and they just throwing bombs down at you. How you get up? Cause you cause you can try to swing back from Not the bottom, sure. but it ain't gonna work. Your face is just right there, and you just coming down. You know, I'm just so hood. I be moving my head on the ground. Oh shit, I be moving my head on the yeah. ground when they give me like that. But now it's like you gotta make sure you down there. But it's I know how to get up. And then when you get up, what you do? The person that's trying to hold, it, it's a secret, but the person that went for the takedown, the person trying to hold you down, they done exerted more energy than you. Because mm -hmm. they done took you down, and you know, you big and strong, they trying to hold you down. Mm -hmm. That's and a lot of energy. When you get up, they, look, they be taking, they be taking them breaths. While they, while they taking them breaths, you got to be tearing their ass up. Right. You got to get your licks back and, right. and try to knock them out right then and there. And you know what's funny? I'm one of my uh, business partners, Tom Bali, played for the Kansas City Chiefs. He used to have the Gracie, Gracie brothers yeah. come to the crib. We all used to do, you know, the dojo. The, what is the thing called? The, the gi. The gi. Yeah. You jump in the dojo. And they always used to say, the key to when you on the ground, when you're on the bottom, is to relax. Yeah. See, you can't panic people, down there. Most people get on the bottom and they, they go straight in the panic. Go, ah, I got to get up. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> me. Mm -hmm. So 
And they, they used to really say, the key is to relax. Yeah. And then when you get the moments, it's all about in the hips, they used to tell. Absolutely. Then you get the moments, and then you got to, uh, uh. And you got to uh, pick a side. Uh, yes. You, See, people be laying straight down yeah. on their back. That's a no-no. Pick a, pick a hip. Because you can push the strength. Pick a hip. Mm -hmm. And then when you pick a hip, hey, man, get the frame, get the underhook, mm -hmm. get up. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of times you be seeing the dude and he just on the ground and he just like you like, man, that nigga like like he ain't even on the bottom. He just he just waiting on that moment. He relaxing, oh, he going oh, for uh, a Oh control. you move too much. I, I got you. Yeah. I got you, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You know how they used to do you in jail. You used to get into your little arguments wow. with your cellie. Yeah, I, mean, I got you, nigga. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It's like it seemed like Saudi Arabia ain't they ain't playing with that money. They throwing that shit out over there. Uh -huh, they not playing. It seemed like it seemed like the sport is going over there so much because they like, no, we trying to create a whole new infrastructure and world over here for the fight game, and we want the best of the best to come over here mm -hmm. because you saying you doing MA, you never fought regular boxing over Ma, there. Yet. I haven't fought boxing over there yet, but I believe that after this fight, they're gonna want to have me back. Yeah. That's a blessing. It's a blessing. Why did you choose to go to MMA? Was it just something you wanted to do? Was it like? A money issue, like okay, they gonna give me some money, money over here. I'm gonna get some money over here too because I'm pretty sure for you to say, okay, they playing just like in the MMA, right? You got MMA fighters that they do MMA, right? But then they say, hold on, I'm a I'm a star over here in MMA, mm -hmm. but if I go over here and do boxing, I'm gonna make more money real quick, like kind of did with Floyd. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I run over here and do boxing because I'm I'm so good in MMA with my boxing shit this that so I done big. fooled motherfuckers to really think that I could probably beat Floyd. Then he go over there and he get the bag. So for you, I can only imagine if you said, you know what, I'm gonna give MMA a try. They had to give you the bag because they like. Yes, they had to give me the bag, but also too, it was a thing of just like, I don't like them MMA girls talking about that they can beat me in a fight. I don't like that. And um, the fact is, how do you stop that? So it was like, if I go to y'all sport and I fight in y'all rules and I whoop y'all ass, y'all gonna have to bow down to the queen and really shut up, like yeah. really be quiet. I'm not a person to do all that talking. Like I'm an action person, mm -hmm. you know. So when a girl talking about some Amanda Nunes talking about some tail clubs and she was kind of MMA and I choked the shit out of her, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna bring my ass to MMA and I'm gonna get good enough to where when we fight, you're not gonna choke the shit out of me and I'm gonna punch your ass so hard to where you that, wish you never said that. To yeah, yeah. You me. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's gonna take some years for me to get there, but these. But these girls, now all these girls, even on a lower scale, just feel like, oh, if I go in there and I take her down, I can beat her. I'm like, y'all gotta be goofy to think I'm gonna keep letting y'all just be able to take me down and don't think I'm gonna go to a gym and figure out how not to get taken down, how, how to make y'all fight my fight, and how to beat y'all. Like, these girls can't beat me and like, I think of MMA as a, as a street fight. Yeah. I'm a boxer, don't get me wrong, but I was a dog in street fighting too before I started boxing. So now that I'm in MMA, people think like it's so different. Yeah, it's different because you gotta learn the techniques and stuff. But at the end of the day, you gotta be a dog. Like, are you a dog or not? That's why these girls in boxing can't beat me. They ain't no dogs. They all want to go in there like Alicia coming there all pretty. But then I go in there and dog walk her. I, I don't even got to look. I don't even got to have no. I go in there and just bow. I just go in there and just beat her up for nothing. I don't. I don't have to go in there. Defense, offense, I was going to just beat her ass. Mm -hmm. Like, she, they want to do that, and I'm going there. I'm going there to destroy, like, seek, like, hunt, kill, mm -hmm. like, different mindsets. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm a boxer who can go from boxing, being a boxing champion, and go to MMA. These other girls wouldn't dare do it because they, because they too scared to lose, and they scared of a fight, they scared of a challenge. And it's like, I'm not one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm Let me not ask the you best. Question. If I'm not mistaken, you called out Keith Thurman. I did. <laughs> I like that. So I'm listening. Yep, I did. Keith, you, you, you think that you could be Keith Thurman? Now let me tell you something. I'm gotta ask. I'm about to be real with you. Yes. Keith Thurman is not that great of a boxer. Is mm. he strong? Yes. Yes. That. But what else? I'm just being honest with you. What else? He ain't boxing two years. At he least. about to he about to fight March 30th against Tim Zoo. Mm -hmm. Tim Zoo finna knock Keith Thurman ass out. Mm. That's the truth. Mm. Mm. 
Now, would I get in the ring and try to go blow for blow Keith Thurman? No, I'm not a dummy. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm bigger than Keith Thurman. I'm a woman, but I'm bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm longer. Mm. I got better skill. Mm. Keith got to land before he can. And then it, you talking about, oh, he only got to land once. He only got to land more than once to get me out of there. But how is he going to take the punch that I give to him? Keith Thurman can't take no body oh, shot. Oh, I mean, he's like, he's like, oh, you about to make me shit. He's going to beef ribs on me. <laughs> Look, I don't got nothing to give to Keith Thurman. Can he take a body shot? Can he take him? And, and no, he can't. Look, this is, you talking to a boxing encyclopedia. I've been at the fights and I've watched Keith Thurman fight. I've been there at the, um, uh, up in New York when he fought. I've been there to see it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I keep Thurman no trash. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that ain't no a uh, boxer who been off for two years. Don't even take boxing seriously. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he be talking like that, but whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you ain't even that great of a boxer mm -hmm. to be talking about some. Oh, you can go in there and use bigger gloves and beat me with. Look, I got I got my man here. My man has seen me in the ring with men. He don't have a worry ever in his life. He, when I get out the ring, he look at me and be like, I ain't playing with that motherfucker. You know. What you see, clean up, baby? Oh, <laughs> no. What <laughs> 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 I'm saying you see get out the ring, he be like, like, he see it. That one we had last night, that shit wasn't even that shit. Leave that shit alone. Leave that shit alone. I be trying to get him to get in the ring with me all the time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, right. He's smart. He, he had a little argument at night. He, he get you through. <laughs> Baby, strap up, baby. Just do a couple of wrenches. He set me up. He ain't set me <laughs> to do <fight>. shit. <laughs> but no, uh, there's a big fight coming up. And I want to know who you got and why. You know, uh, Devin Haney, uh, Ryan Garcia. Huh. Who you got and why? <laughs> I'm not going to be, I have to be honest. Like, I, I like Ryan Garcia. Um, I love Devin Haney. I got to be honest with you. Devin Haney is a way better boxer than Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Um, he has potential, but I don't know if he'll ever reach his potential because of uh, he already got like when you got everything like like what makes you work hard? Like when you already got the followers and you got the following, and you got the endorsements and sponsorships and the money and the cars and in the in the world kind of go go the way that you want it to go whenever you want it to go. Like what like what turned you up? But do you think? Everything that, that, that Ryan got, did he earn it? Like, did he earn it hardcore? Did he fight real fights? I mean, he got in the ring with Tank. You can't take nothing no, away from that. No, I'm talking about outside of that. I mean, hey, Ryan took some tough fights. Yeah. Like, like, look, Ryan, I'm a fan. I watched him get dropped by the guy from the UK. Did you guys Luke see that? Campbell. Yeah, Luke Campbell. Yeah, when he got dropped by that, him. That, listen, that was the day that Ryan Garcia yep. proved he was a monster. himself to he me. He proved him, yep, that same was, day. That was the day same he, day when he got, when he went in, and he got hit, his body went stiff. Yep. Straight down. Got up. Bam, he got right up. And in that same round, that kid went forward. Yep. He didn't get up and go back. That kid got him a said. Okay. And then said, come on, it's time. So I had to respect him from there. I'm not yep. going to lie, up until that time, I thought he was a pretty boy. Yep. With a little over height. I thought it was more about the look. I thought the look was the hook. Okay, yeah. they trying to they sell were trying me to as the next to be Oscar De La Hoya. Golden boy. The right. next, you feel what I'm saying? I kind of thought it was that. But he proved to me when he got hit on his chin. Yeah. And he got up and rumbled like a grown ass man. Yeah. And this was years ago. I had to put respect on that kid's name. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and I thought that after that fight, I think Ryan just need him a Strong team. Too many of these boxing guys is telling their coaches and their team what to do. Mm. I don't understand it. Mm. It's like I train two, three times a day. I show up on time for my for my coaches and my trainers. Um, I'm constantly on the phone with them. I'm constantly sending my weights, my food. But then you got these boxing guys telling their coaches what they is and what they ain't gonna do. Mm -hmm. Coach tell them, oh, you gotta go run uh, three miles. I'm only gonna run one. Coach tell you gotta be at the gym at five o'clock. Nigga showing up at seven. Like, it's like these guys, like these coaches, is scared of getting fired because they if they don't listen to these fighters. Mm -hmm. And this is going on through a lot. Oh, I know. Trust a me. lot of boxers. And it's like, since when do we have a world? I didn't come up like that. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I even though I'm the fighter and I pay my coaches, mm -hmm. it's like my coaches bring value to my camp. Right. 
they're my extra eyes when I'm in there. Right. When, win, lose, or draw, when I'm going back to the locker room, mm -hmm. coach gonna be right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. Uh, and that, so that's what draw, Ryan needs. A lot of times, with most boxers, the coach that they got now is the coach they had from a kid. So, yep, some of so, them. So, uh, or you, or you was young. You was 15. You was 17. Sometimes it'd be nine. So, so a lot of times the. That coach was more than just a coach. Yeah, like the a father. The nigga was like a father figure to you because you spent more time with this nigga than you did your real dad. Because you go to the gym, you go to school, you go to the gym after school. You in there every day with him. Two, three hours, then y'all talk, y'all bust it up. Y'all, you go home, you might see your dad for an hour. Hey, what's up, dad? You go in the bed, you sleep, you back to school, mm -hmm. back to the gym. You, coach, what time we at? So, then you get money, and now you tell him what to do. That's the problem yep, right and money. there. And, 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 and shout out to my nephew, Prime, mm -hmm. because I can tell the world this because I told him this. Chris Colbert, oh, his okay. last fight, yep. he was in the middle of a fight. Yep, I remember. He go to the corner. Yep, his coaches okay. say, stop doing this. I got this. Yep. Oh, no, you can't do that. No, I got this. So y'all y'all tripping. Y'all acting like y'all nervous. He literally he got, in he the corner arguing on TV. His, yes, he went out the next round. Yep, went out the next round. Now, boxing win, lose, or draw. Yep. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Whether you win, whether you lose, or you draw, draw this is a sport. Mm -hmm. So when I talked to him the next day, I told them that you need to call your coaches and apologize to every last fucking one mm -hmm. of them for acting like that in that ring. Because they there for a reason. Yeah. And if they can't tell you nothing, then you deserve to lose. Because they're your fucking eyes outside the ring. Yeah. They the ones that you in the ring, you can't see everything. Nice. They in the ring, they like, yo, when you uh, slide over, go to that body, come back up. Yeah. Spin around, dump that you like, oh okay, alright, alright, bet. Then you get in there, you do that shit. Bam! Oh, okay, that shit worked. All right, man. They come back. All right, now listen. You're not touching that body enough. To, yep. You might not notice it because you actually in the room. Yeah. yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You need a motherfucker to be like. Prime example. Tank was fighting Mario Barros. It got to like the eighth round. Yeah, was a, the ninth was round. That was. Floyd walked up and said, "Yo, you're losing." Tank said, "What?" <laughs> you losing. Tank said I'm losing. You, not officially, but on an unofficial scorecard, you're down. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, if Floyd don't come see that, he might cruise through the next round. Yeah. He might. That's the reality of it. You need some motherfucker on the outside because in Tank mind, he wasn't losing. Mm -hmm. But the fight was close though. Then nigga turned around and said, what? I'm losing. <laughs> like Floyd seen it. So, at the end of the day, your coaches, the people on the outside, that's your eyes. Yeah. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? You see Boots, he knock out the kid that fought Terrence Crumper. But, but in the process of it, he get caught. But the dude is on the ground and Boots is apologizing to his pop. My fault, Dad. I didn't bring my back And this nigga's getting a 10 count. One, two, mm -hmm. three. That's discipline. Yeah. When you knock a motherfucker out and you ain't celebrating, you telling your dad, my fault. That's discipline. Yeah. And that's great coaching. Yep. That's when you know he got a great coach. He respect his coach. You feel what I'm saying? And you got to respect the motherfuckers that taught you. Yeah. They taught you everything. Everything. Now you get to a certain point and uh, you don't need to be taught no more. You always learning every day. I done had so many different coaches since I'm out. Two, I've been on two Olympic teams. I got two gold medals, but I've had- Talk about that. Uh, two Olympic gold medals, right? Yeah, two Olympic gold mm, medals. That's different. Only woman in the world, huh? Only only American. Oh, only American, right? Yeah, mm. ain't no other boxer in America, not even the men, got two Olympic gold medals. We got some that got one. Two. But I got two. So let me just ask you this. Yeah? Fuck women. Are you the greatest boxer of all time? Because you got two gold medals, right? Uh -huh. Floyd is considered the greatest Boxes by most people, a lot of people on this side, he ain't got one gold medal. Mm -hmm. you, I would say. You undisputed, how many times? Three. Floyd ain't never been undisputed. Which I find very 
crazy. I mean, he's a great boxer. He, it, you, the greatest is yes. yeah. considered ever. I, I, I so watch the train. I know if my you say, okay, I got two gold medals. Yeah. I'm three times undisputed. Yeah. I don't think that's ever happened in men's boxing. Nope. Okay. And I went over to MMA and kicked some ass. Yeah. How could these niggas say they better than me? Well, I'm like, I guess I'm gonna say I'm like you right now. Thank you. <laughs> um, if you talk about on paper, I am the best boxer in the world. That, that's all that I'm talking about. I'm that's not talking all, about money. No, I ain't talking about money. I'm talking I'm not, up on paper. But 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 me being honest, it's some boxers who I've seen box, and I'm like, damn, I need to add what they got. To absolutely. Me. You know because they're great. Like honestly. Uh, if I had to put myself, I'm definitely top five greatest boxers of all time. I'm top five. But when I when I'm talking about right now, it got guys right now who I watch. Like we talking about, I'm talking about Terrence Crawford, mm -hmm. Shakur Stevenson. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm probably three. Let me think. A lot of people coming. Floyd. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 yeah, I guess I'm top four. Those are the only three guys that I see who I'd be like, dang, they box better than me. And hold on, I'm probably, I'm five because I got to add Boots in there. But, boots is absolutely uh, skilled. Unbelievable. So, yeah. yeah. But let me just say this, though, right? Yeah. It's different forms of boxing. Uh -huh. You got some motherfuckers that's like, I'm going to swim and not get wet. You got some motherfuckers that's like, no, nigga, I'm just coming to drown you. Yeah. I don't mind getting hit. I'm gonna go through the war to finish the battle. Some fighters ain't really no ain't really no so, choice. So, mm -hmm. so for me, it's like you got motherfuckers that's that's like they great you you great at what you do. Sometimes you got the boxer who don't beat the brawler. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a way better boxer. He till that nigga punched him to his body. Yeah, and he felt that he motherfucker ribs. punch. <laughs> then he was like, ah, that's, the sauce, that's like saying, that that's that, that, like saying Shakur Stevenson. Yeah. May be a better boxer than Tank Davis. That don't mean Shakur is gonna win if they fight. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you just talk about just straight boxing skills. Oh, I'm gonna swim and not get wet. But you hit you, oh, back up. Or you take two steps, I'm two steps back. You take three, I'm two steps and turn. Oh, so. Boxing is a game that's called hit and not, hit and not get hit. Mm -hmm. A lot of these boxers that I've seen recently, some of them, they forgetting about the hitting part. Like just everybody running. just don't want to yeah, get hit. They, they just it's hey, like, hey. This is the hurt business. At the end of the day, everybody watching the fight, rather you knocking them down or rather you hurting them, they want to see you hurt them. I think that's why I was able to bring 12,000 fans to Detroit. Mm. Talk yeah, heavy. I, yeah, I fought at the Little Caesars Arena, the first, mm -hmm. Talk heavy. first boxing match there, main event, so and 12,000 people showed up to see a woman mm. Talk throw heavy. down. That's me, Talk heavy. So people come in, but everybody know. Any fight Clarissa be in, she gonna come, she gonna scrap. You mm -hmm. not, look, hey, I may have my rounds where I mm -hmm. do my thing and all that, but they gonna know. This, whoa, I'm going oh, with that right hand. And when, and when it land, mm -hmm. listen, I hit that girl with so many right hands up in the trick. Her head went back, her body was shaking. Everybody just like, <gasps> it was so many deep, but it was like from round one through 10, I'm talking about every round, they had a reason to be up on their feet, screaming, clapping. I, I get in there and I and, and I and I and I fight and I don't take a whole bunch of licks after after I can get out put my wig on put my makeup on and I look good. Mm -hmm. so, hey, some of these fights, girl, they got cuts and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not one of them, so I do believe in the hit and not and not get hit. But mm -hmm. I believe in also like this is the hurting business. You also gotta think. take chances though. Yeah, absolutely. Because Especially when you want to go for the knockouts, you gotta take chances right. and hey. People can say what they want. I fight against the best girls. These women are strong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are strong women. So when I'm hitting them with the big shots, it's like sometimes I done got hit with a big shot. People just can't tell. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't never been like wobbly or nothing like that. What woman punched you the hardest? That you was like, okay, I, I respect it's you, baby. Yeah. It's real. Uh, French on Cruz. French on Cruz, man. Like people, she got some, she just beat, hold on. She just beat Shadesha Green, and everybody was saying Shadesha Green can knock out me and Franchine Cruz. Mm -hmm. Which I already knew Shadesha Green can't fuck with me. I already knew that. Mm -hmm. I used to beat her up when she was heavyweight. Yeah. When she was, like I said, heavyweight, I was 158. Mm -hmm. I was beating her up. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But they were saying she can beat me. I already knew she couldn't. But when Franchine went out there and handled her, 
I already knew like Meryl Franchon is a dog. And when me and Franchon fought our pro debut, you y'all gonna look it up. It was four rounds of war. I'm talking about when we got done with the four rounds, I probably still wanted to scrap with her. Cause I was like, how fucking dare you hit me that hard? <laughs> <laughs> Even my little sister was outside the ring, right? She was like, so my little see, sister can see scrap. Parking lot. Yo, that, that, that's, some, that's some wild, <laughs> almost idiotic shit though she just said. <laughs> because <laughs> she's in a boxing match. She said, I dare you hit, you fucking hit me that hard. That's like, you that don't make no sense, but it do make nah, sense. Nah, cause it was like, damn, what's up? But no, but I hit her hard too, but this is how I know that she really hit me hard. So I got a little sister named Brianna. Brianna is like a professional street fighter. Like my sister probably whoop y'all. My sister probably whoop y'all ass. Yeah, yeah, whoop his ass. Nah, no. Y'all. I'm a tap out hoax. You see how big your hand is? We gotta go through this sister. See my sister got <laughs> my sister got hands like this. Yeah. Hit her knuckle actually bigger than his knuckle. I tell you that right now. Damn. I'm supposed to have my sister Brianna hands. I got these little things. Yeah. I need Brianna's. Listen. After the fight. The girl hit me so hard that after the fight, my sister Brianna, when the, when the girl was walking through there, she, she tapped, she tapped French on and said, bitch, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so French on trying to fight my sister, right? And my sister, my, my, yeah. and my sister want to rumble with her. Yeah. I'm like, bro, we not gonna do that. What? I said no, cause she, she, we gonna have to jump her. What? No, damn. Come on, come on. I told my sister. Hard, hard. W. She hit hard. She said we gonna have to jump. Look, French on hit me so hard. Look. Whenever Franchon come in, like Franchon done my outfit for me or whatever, if she walk in the room, all my family stand up. I'm telling you, like this is true. She's a monster. This is the truth. I don't, Look, let me see her. I don't want to. I don't want to run. walks in. All my family walk up to her. Like my daddy walk up, give her a hug. My mama say hi to her. My little, my my little sister look at her and be like, I fuck with you. I respect you. Give her a hug, whatever. And I, of course, you know, hey, what up, sis? You know, got, got my uniform and stuff. But I'm telling you, everybody kind of just raise up because it's like. She, she, but she earned her respect. Yeah, she earned her respect for sure. She and she's the only woman that my family does that with. Anybody else, my family don't care. <laughs> well, it's going down February 23rd. Yeah. It's going down February 24th. 23rd, 24th, 24th, Saudi Arabia. So that means if you're in the States like me, you have to watch at like. What time? What time in the morning? Like two in the afternoon? I have no idea, but it'll be like on that. ESPN though. It'll be on ESPN, so I will be but checking it out. On ES? And we will figure out the times and post it and let you guys let know, you know as we doing the promo. So now, February 24th, what are we expecting to see? I always just saying, man, just expect to see me win. Mm. And expect to see these girls try to go for the takedown. I think this girl I'm fighting against thing that she pretty tough. She said, uh, she said, I, she said that I think that I'm still in boxing and she's going to teach me about MMA. She's going to take me to school mm. with MMA. That's that's what she said. Interesting. And I just want her and I'm going to take her to the Northwestern parking lot mm. in Flint where I used to Woo. beat up people at, at back to school. See, see you know what? Things are so two things are certain. Yeah. What I've learned through this interview is that even if you try to sell a fight, you can't even sell a fight to this motherfucker. Yes, she you can. takes everything personal. Wait, she said what? Yeah. She gonna step on my shoes, but bitch, I'm taking you to the north. You got parking lot. Like, like, she you might know, just be trying to sell a fight. She might be like, I'm just trying to get the most money. I know she gonna win. I'm gonna take her to them. Yeah. You can she take everything personal. She the type, don't forget nothing. She like, she said she was gonna do what? She was gonna Listen. take me to the ground. <laughs> bitch, I got you. You ain't doing nothing. Leading up to the Savannah Marshall fight, I. I could tell you everybody who said I was gonna lose. You remember everybody that said you everybody that said out and, and people said this. Clarissa gonna win the first few rounds and then Savannah Marshall gonna knock her out late. I remember everybody that said it. See, well I tell you, she, she, take, point. she be taking it, she, she like Ryan Garcia picked Savannah Marshall to beat me. Did he? Mm. Okay. He did. He did. Uh. And then he told me he was sorry and stuff after I beat her. Cause I'm like, right, what are you going against me for? You know, I'm the head honcho. Mm, yes. You know, I'm the best. Mm, best. Mm. But you know, but you know, it's a lot of people said that. The only people who knew what was up for real, Shakur. Shakur knew what was up. Mm -hmm. Everybody on the USA team, we talking about Terrence Crawford, Earl <coughs> Smith, everybody that really know boxing, everybody knew I was going to be Savannah Marshall. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. Yeah. I don't know why she thought she was going to knock me out, but she sold it. She sold it to the people though. You hit it your business. Mm -hmm. That's all it's about. Well, listen, February 24th. It's, it's going down. It's going down. Saudi Arabia. You know, before you get out of here, I just want I just want you 
it was not a little good. Dude, show us a few like little techniques, uh, you know, like for, for some young girls out there that's looking up to you. Mm -hmm. That's like, I want to be the next group. I want to be the next Clarissa Shields. I want just some few techniques. Okay, so like when you boxing, right? I'm a southpaw. So like, what are you looking for? So if I'm okay, so you southpaw. Uh -huh. First thing I want to do is I want to have my foot on the outside of your foot. Okay, so we want to make this a foot battle then. Somewhat. Somewhat. So you see how you stepped over mm -hmm. there? I ain't even gonna let you know I'm moving. Uh, my me. Jab, jab, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. So then I want my foot on the outside of yours. Why? Because. I'm smothering your dad, mm -hmm. and I'm getting away from your power. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going this way. Okay. So when I step this way, you can give me that straight left hand. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping right into your power. Okay. So when I step over here, go ahead, throw the left. It's right there. But when I'm over here, you got to work a little harder to get that left. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then I'm gonna do something else. Okay, boom. Throw your jab out there. Throw it again. You see how I just you see how we see my right hand doing? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Boom, pow. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him one back. But you see how I slipped that shit up. I want to you know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, I had to make a little for the camera. Like I said, that shit would have called this shit out of me. I had no idea she was about to do that shit. I'm not going to hit him. So then we got the, so we got the parry. Boom, serve him back. Boom, serve him back. Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead and throw Jack in. Oh, body shot. Mm -hmm. I'm like, look, you got to slip on the inside. And your head don't go all the way over here. Mm -hmm. It just go, look at my chain bouncing around. Go ahead. Ooh, pow. I just, just a okay, little slip. Okay, so you threw the jab, right? Uh-huh. Was that too far? You know what? Well, can you can you land? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta reach a little bit, but that's that's all right though. Boom. Now what you gotta look out for? Go ahead. Boom. You hit with that body shot. When I'm bringing this hand back, where you at? Yeah, you need to get on the bottom there, cause you stay over there. Nah, I can't stay there. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> and you don't stay nowhere. If you yeah. stay there, it's over. I've been sleeping. Now I got I got one more for you. See, people don't even know it's so slick. Get your hands up. So now let's say we done. You know, it's three ranges of fighting. Mm -hmm. People always want to say it's two. Y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about. Mm -hmm. You got inside fighting, mm -hmm. you got mid range, mm -hmm. and you got long range. Okay, that's a long range. That's, that's your got range. Run. Shakur is long range. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. But then, but look, when we here, and we up in here trying to get the body shots, people don't even know. Look at this. I'm going to do something. Look, look at that. Mm. Look, he don't realize. He look. He don't look. He don't even see how I got his hand right mm -hmm. here. But look at that. Wow. Mm. Then if I go here, look at that. Oh, mm. my God, I want smack him up. Mm. See that hook right there? Mm. But when magic, you turn them knuckles up. See, when you're on the inside fighting here, y'all, boom, boom, everybody looking. I'm just going to go, oh, give me that hand. Mm. Give me that hand. Mm. Mm. Shakur taught me that. Mm. Oh, okay, so let me see something. So we in here, right? Uh -huh. And I'm like this, right? And I'm just. Mm. Wow, you see how slick it is? Oh, oh I'm a bad motherfucker. I, just, I learned that? that shit too quick. I learned. It's all it is. Yeah, you see, I'm gonna catch you with that shit next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, one more thing, okay? All right, what do you need? Explain distance to the young girls. Distance. So, I like to be where you think you can hit me, but okay. you can't. Okay, so if I was right here, could I jab you for me? I don't even think you could. If I step in. But see, when you step in, I'm going left, I'm going right. Okay, so I'm from here. What? So if the perfect jab is, even if I miss you, where am I supposed to be when I after I jab? So if I go, shh. You need to be just on your feet, period. But do I have to? No, nah, so we'll be like, just don't be over the front knee. Okay. When you, when you jab here, okay. you in danger. Because I seen Terrence Crawford catch Errol Spence with that. Was he, did he catch him with uppercut no, after that? He, he kind of jabbed to the stomach, but he was out here with him. Oh, did he catch him with an uppercut? So then when right he tried to come back up, it was like boom, boom, and then he called him, or it might have been one, boom, then he called him and went down, but it was kind of like, he's like, you see, he was leaning kind of over his front foot when I he jabbed far, to the... I was sparring just, just yesterday out here, and I jabbed the girl, uh, I jabbed her to the body, boom, and I didn't bring my hand, I didn't bring my hand back up, and she caught me with a, uh, caught me with a straight right hand. That's the only shot she caught me with the whole sparring session, though. But it was the first time I went out there, did my little thing moving around, and I said, boom, I must have put it out there too slow, or brought it back too slow, either one. She said, wow, I said, oh shit, okay. Okay, so what's the secret to this? Say, if you throw a jab, right, mm -hmm. and I slip, mm -hmm. wham, what's the secret to that timing? Secret to the timing is knowing, is, is knowing the distance of the jab. Abdullah Mason just knocked somebody out with that punch. Mm -hmm. The, the other night, where he said, "Oh, he's been." Uh -huh. Yeah, it was, he was. Well, it was like he was just waiting for the jab to come. Huh? Bam! How do y'all perfect that time? Cause that's like a split 
that's in like a split a, second. it's a split second reaction honestly it's like you learning your opponent that's what I think I'm great at. Like, you know how you adjust? You got you got some fighters who are great, but they can't adjust. You come in there with game plan, that's the game plan you got to stick to. But sometimes game plans get ruined mm -hmm. because your opponent came in there with a game plan of their own. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So your game plan could be, oh, I'm going to do this. And then all of a sudden, you see that you circling this way. They keep catching your ass to the hook and the right hand because they knew, oh, that's going to be his game plan. He's going to circle that way. Mm -hmm. So now you got to have a different game plan. You got to be able to fix it on the fly. Five, some fighters can't do that. Some fighters can't do it. So what I think what he did, when you in there, first of all, recognize if you fighting a fighter who got the same tempo jab the whole time, mm -hmm. or if you fighting a fighter who got a flicking jab. Mm -hmm. Mine, I got a, I got a power jab. Yeah. That's what I got. Whenever I want to float a little bit, I can mm -hmm. flick it, but, but my jab is like my right hand. Right. It's hard. Right. So when you get hit with my jab, you probably think I'm left-handed, but I'm not. Right. My jab is hard. Right. So here you need to first realize if you fighting somebody who got a one of them flicker mm -hmm. jabs or somebody who got a strong jab and how fast is it? Mm -hmm. And if they gonna change the speed of it. Some fighters don't change the speed of their jab, never. Right. Start the whole fight. Right. So now jab. I can get this off because mm -hmm. I know how right, it's coming. Right, because you know, it already hit you, boom. Right. It hit you, boom. Mm -hmm. You like, she come with that same jab mm -hmm. again. Wow, right. wow. Mm -hmm. You just gotta think how important? How important is fainting? Because a lot of fighters, they fight start, bang. First three rounds, you see them, they like this. Uh-huh. Then they throw the jab out there. By the sixth round, every time they throw the jab, you know it's coming. It's like, there's no more fainting, there's no more. You feel how important is fainting? Ain't this crazy? It was just good as yesterday. Fainting throws off the rhythm of an opponent. So let's say you would, so I'm a hunter, mm -hmm. right? So I'm coming forward, I'm coming to get you, right? Mm -hmm. But it's easy for me to come get you if you ain't got nothing in my face. Right. If you hit me with a jab and then you faint, mm -hmm. first of all, before you start fainting, land the punch first. Right. That's the thing. Right. Boom. So I hit you with a stiff jab. Boom. Mm -hmm. You like, oh shit. So now every time I jump at you, you like that motherfucking jab. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I already done popped you. I don't right. want that. You, right. Exactly. I don't want right. that shit no more. So fainting is dead without landing the shot first. Okay. Fainting is dead. Okay. But then also too, sometimes you got to see what a fighter do. So when I fake this right hand, mm -hmm. you know what you doing? Because this, cause this one coming. Mm -hmm. So when I faint, this is what you're doing. Okay, and you're like, so, oh, he, he ain't put his hand up. Okay, and you walk Or around. sometimes, I fainted a girl the other day. I fainted her, she jumped back like this. She just jumped back, boom. Okay, so now when I faint her again, she jumped back. Wow, I'm gonna jump him with that hook. Mm -hmm. Cause she jumped, cause every time I fainted her, she just took one, one step back. She ain't stepped to the left. Mm -hmm. she, she just. So that was a jab to close the distance and then a. I fainted, I, I didn't even jab her. Oh, okay. Cause I know oh, she so jumped. Bow, come in there and bow, jump in with the hook. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm saying. But you set it up first because the first time you fainted, you seen it is every time you faint, she jumped back. So you already knew exactly. I had to come in. So when I fainted set again, up. she coming back. That's how you got to set traps. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing more of now because it's like, I know I can beat these girls up 10 rounds. I can win your name decisions, but how you knock these girls out? I'm mm -hmm. trying to knock them out now. Right. Mm -hmm. So I got to set them up, right. put a big shot to get them out of there. Right. Yeah. February 24th, Saudi Arabia. The GOAT. You hear me? The GOAT. Clarissa Shields. Tune in. MMA.